Hey guys, how you doing? Um, so tonight I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Uh, I figured, seeing we've got a, uh, a full moon, um, let's photograph it. Now, I don't really photograph the moon that, that much anymore. Um, for me, I prefer really, really dark skies, but tonight I think we should have a little bit of fun. And I think we should have a little bit of fun with the uh, Celestron Roackerman 8 inch um, uh, telescope here with the moon. And the reason I'm saying we're having a little bit of fun because we're doing something that we, well, isn't really recommended with the RASA 8, and that's a Nikon Z7 on the front of the RASA 8. So uh, let's get this, uh, this screwed on, shall we? Now, one of the things that... Um, Got to be really careful of, especially like this, is uh, making sure I don't damage the uh, or touch the corrector plate. Um, the grip itself is uh, really close to it, so there we go. Now I know it's not a full frame imaging circle or anything like that, so. I'm going to switch the camera into DX mode um, and uh, let's see how that goes. There we go. So as we can see, we've got the, uh, the Z7 on the front of the uh, Rasa 8-inch um, <laughs> astrograph. Um, still haven't really used the ASI Air yet, so can't really talk too much about that. But uh, let's go photograph the moon. Now, as it's slowing towards the moon, um, I did do a quick uh, alignment earlier, so we'll see how we go with it. Um, for me, we're just playing around so things don't have to be too accurate. And you're probably wondering, well, what's it like photographing the stars with the Z7 and the, uh, the Rasa? So, um, just for those that might be a little bit curious with that, we might do that as well. Okay, so as we can sort of see here, um, with the moon centered in the, uh, in the middle of our, our screen, but it is quite bright, and my battery is running quite low, so if it does go flat, I can switch it up. All right, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to switch it into um, one of my landscape modes and just zoom in on the moon there. Okay, so we can sort of see our exposure is a bit, a bit too bright. So right now I am shooting at um, ISO 64 and we're just adjusting our exposure a little bit. Okay, so it looks a little bit out of focus to me, so I'm just going to try and <laughs> try and reach around the back here. Um, might have to go the other way. Okay, let's just get this in focus a little bit. And that there is looking pretty good. So we'll zoom out. And there we have the moon <laughs> with the Z7 on the Rasa 8. Um, so I think it's time to take a few shots. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to maybe take 10 photographs, um, maybe more, stack them, and, uh, and we'll see how we go with that. 
All right, so for those that are wondering, um, my settings are um, one thirty-two thousandths of a second, ISO 64. And that's it, that quick and simple. So I'm just gonna fire off a whole heap of these photos. And the reason I'm taking so many photos here is because of the um, atmospheric turbulence uh, in the sky. So um, by taking a whole bunch of photos and then stacking them up, you're going to get a, uh, a much cleaner, um, hopefully clearer image of the moon. So how many photos is this? I don't know. <laughs> we'll just keep going. We're having fun tonight, aren't we? <laughs> Shall we take some more? <laughs> I think so. Look, honestly guys, if you just can't have fun taking photographs and you know, I don't know, is it really for you? Um, I just, I really enjoy photography, especially astrophotography and just doing, just doing stuff like this, you know, it's just good fun. I think I think that's enough uh, enough photographs. Um, so yeah, what we uh, what we might do now is uh, we'll point it towards some stars and see how that looks. <laughs> I just had to replace the uh, the battery uh, in the camera because it went completely flat. Now that we've got another battery, in the meantime, I've slewed it around and we're now going to photograph the Lagoon Nebula. Okay, so this will be really interesting to see how the Z7 performs in capturing H Alpha, um, but also at the same time, seeing how the Z7 goes on top of the, the Rasa 8. Um, I'm going to be shooting at a uh, size of 400 and I'm going to be doing 60 second exposures um, and I'll take a fair few of them throughout the night as well well sorry I mean, I'll take about five five about five minutes worth um, and then we'll stack them and see how they look I won't do too many because as I said this is just playing around and having a bit of fun and uh, and sharing it all with these guys so um, yeah, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to um, uh, put on a dew shield as well. <coughs> Which is uh, this guy right here. Now when um, imaging even with uh, Schmidt Cassegrains, it's always good to have a dew shield just to try and stop any of that um, stray light from entering. Alright, so um, I've got my remote trigger here and I'm just going to use my uh, timer on my phone. And begin. So while this is taking this image, as I said, I'm going to take about five images, um, maybe ten. Who knows, I might go a bit further. I don't know yet, I haven't decided, but... Um, yeah, we'll just take view images and uh, and see how they look at the end of the video. Um, hope you've enjoyed this uh, this completely random, um, out of the blue uh, sort of video. I'm just having a bit of fun and uh, and seeing how the Z7 goes on the Rasa 8. Um, if you've enjoyed any of those video any of these videos, um, please uh, subscribe and uh, and if you have any comments, um, feel free to uh, to let me know. Alright, well until next time guys, take it easy. <laughs>